Good day, I'm Phil Creighton of the Shadow Chasers. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Polaroid voice recorders, the particularly the PDR-302. And this is actually one of our new favorite pieces of technology, simply because we have a backlit LCD display, so you can see it at night. Um, you have the bookmarking function where we tag specific points on a track. And then we have a really large microphone here. The back piece of this is the speaker. Up here we have our microphone input and headphone out. But this microphone is actually sensitive enough, or I should say, it has enough noise that you can usually pick up uh, any EVPs or any other voices in the area. So it is very sensitive. Sen more sensitive than most, which uh, most voice recorders try to trim down the noise levels and keep the microphone within the usable function range so that it's only picking up human voices. So this doesn't do us any good for normal EVP sessions, but this one does because it does have some noise chatter to it in the background. So you do have some white noise, you do have some static because the frequency range for the microphone is higher than most. And again, the biggest saving function of this thing is the backlit display. When you're flipping through tracks at when you're flipping through tracks at night in the dark, you want to be able to see if you're actually recording or without shining a flashlight on it, or if you can actually like see where you are on a track when you're playing it back. Now the good news on this one is we do have multiple function modes of course. The biggest, biggest, biggest questionable and scary mode is uh, if you set it so that it's only on long play. This switches to a dot voc file which hasn't been in use since 1994. So the good news is uh, if you switch it back to high quality it's standard mp3 format and uh, on SP, it's standard wave format. On high quality, you get approximately 70 hours of record time. It runs off two AAA batteries, and we've never had them die in the field. The extra bonus here, of course, standard on most voice recorders now, is the ability to use it straight as a USB hub and plug it straight in as a USB thumb drive. It dumps files just like that, just as easy and it keeps everything bookmarked as well. So if you're going through, you can actually see that when you're playing back the tracks, it'll have a line drawn on your playback that'll say this is a bookmark. So, again, the Polaroid voice recorders. Very good quality, um, decent price, only about 30 to 40 bucks. Um, these ones are from 2009. Um, that's when they were first launched. So. These are very, very handy, very good, and very quick and cheap. Backlit LCD display, biggest plus, second biggest plus, USB, third, we have the uh, microphone with a larger spectrum that it takes in, and that is what we're always looking for. So for the price, the compact nature of this, rather solid feel to it. Um, it's, it could take a hit, I think. <laughs> a solid hit, and solid size, solid feel to it. The microphone is really good, and the backlit display is even better. It's the uh, Polaroid voice recorders, and you can pick them up for about 30, 40 bucks. Very, very good.